This is the 1962 Santa Maria Valley Railroad with a passenger excursion pulled by one of their steam engines, number 21, with some borrowed Southern Pacific Harriman style commute coaches from the 1920s. The yard at Guadalupe is the connection the short line SMV Railroad has to the Southern Pacific Railroad. This baggage car has pairs of wooden planks to keep the rail fans a bit safer. This facility has some orange Pacific Food Express ice bunker refrigerator cars for hauling fresh produce grown in this area. The SP yard is in Guadalupe, California, where the SMV in yellow meets the SP coastline in orange. Better Ravia was the location of a large sugar beet processing plant until the 1990s. Here's the location of the town of Santa Maria. You are going to see lots of green, leafy produce grown in these scenes, as well as support structures to this agricultural area. A Studebaker Golden Hawk automobile rolls by to add to the scene. The car was stylized by famous Raymond Lowy, who also styled many railroad locomotives and passenger cars. To the right is a structure that loads produce items into rail cars. Now we're finally going to run the locomotive in the pulling mode. Walt Disney himself was reported as being in the locomotive cab. He was a well-known railroad enthusiast. Now we're in the actual town of Santa Maria. The twin white flags on number 21's front are to signify that this train is an extra.
Well, it looks like the end of the trip. To see more of the Santa Maria Valley Railroad, look for our full video, Your Colorful SP, that features lots of sugar beet SP trains, but also a great look at the Betteravia sugar processing plant served by many of the diesels of the Santa Maria Valley Railroad. Check out our website and thanks for watching. Your Colorful SP visits the Yuma Main Line, covered from Yuma, Arizona to Colton, California, as well as many other fascinating locations from 1991 to 1995. The heat and sand on this line tested man and equipment since the 1870s, but watching the SP trains racing through this area, you would think that it had all been easy. We also cover the Salton Sea and Nyland area with the disastrous results of flooding in 1905 caused by the Colorado River's water breaking up the canals that brought irrigation water to the Imperial Valley growing area. The flood formed the Salton Sea that remains in a smaller form even today. There are still remnants of the old SP mainline underwater from this incident. Our videos feature numerous maps and history keyed to train locations to better inform the viewer. The video works its way back to Colton, California through Indio and the San Gorgonio Pass and over Beaumont Hill with colorful action and train meets at key locations. Another visit includes the line from San Diego to the Imperial Valley in 1976. The line has long since been severed. We take a historic cab ride from Campo to the Imperial Valley, riding inside a group of U-25Bs in desolate territory. The productive Imperial Valley was once a home to sugar beet production with the SP's collection of special cars built to handle the crop's harvest and transportation to processing plants. Here are a few vignettes of loading and shipping of sugar beet harvests. The trains in this video are hauling the beets to the Bataravia plant near Guadalupe, California. El Centro was the hub of the Imperial Valley activity on the SP, and the next scene sketched the irrigation water that brought life and production to what remains as a vast food growing area.
the beet production, rail transport, and the beet plant itself have all vanished, but they live on in this video production. We follow the SP and beet trains from the valley up to the processing plant near the SP's coastline. During beet harvest season, the old cars leaked sugar beets all along the main line. The next scenes are a few brief scenes taken from the video at the sugar beet plant. The full video brings a good explanation of the complex work that went on at this plant before it closed. We also briefly visit a few beet locations in southern Oregon. The old SP's SD9s and GP9s were the favored power on these assignments. The video closes with a tribute to the old SD9s that were in their last years, as well as the SP itself. This video is 1 hour and 36 minutes in length with a colorful look at what the SP did so well.